For decades, HMS Ganges in Suffolk was the first taste of naval life for generations of the Royal Navy recruits. But 40 years ago, on the 6th of June 1976, it was decided that the training base would close for good. The increasing professionalism of the Royal Navy and the reform of practices during the mid 19th century led to the need to establish new training centres at which recruits could be inducted into the Navy life. The Admiralty decided to set aside five old laid up hulks in different ports around the country and use them as bases at which volunteers aged between 15 and 17 could spend a year being educated for future services in the Royal Navy. Once filled with life, this swimming pool changing room area was nothing but empty. I was walking alone in this empty corridor leading into the toilets and it felt like I was being watched. As Aaron couldn't make it through the window that was left open, I was the only one that could fit in. I let my mind wander and my camera do the talking. Welcome to HMS Ganges. Let's do this folks. After five minutes, me and Aaron managed to find an entrance into this naval accommodation block where the Navy boys would have once slept. We didn't feel alone. Hmm? Yeah, that's what I'm mainly here for, really. <laughs> Not worry. You would, would you say that? Pretty much, yeah. Is it your fucking long call though? Yeah, just a bit. It's all. Yeah, this is where people would have slept, so yeah, it's all going to be the same. It's all going to be the same. Yeah. Your accommodation. Well, well, I've had a with graffiti. Well, unless you've been somewhere. Why, where you have, uh, why do they print the graffiti? Because they're hard. <laughs> It looks like new graffiti as well, this stuff. Oh, you ain't got your bag on you again, have you? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's got the Kadok bag. I wonder if there's a. We have to go out the same way we came in then. Mm, so many mattresses. Oh, toilets. With oh, it stairs down here. I if it'll be a way. There's, there's, there's a breeze. No. Oh, there's stairs. More stairs. I love stairs. Did you not? Someone's had a bit of fun with the gold cushions. Yeah, it definitely feels like I've cut my head off or something. I'm just going to continuously film. I'm not going to stop. Yeah, because there's been people with allegations about breaking in and burning places down. Well, I don't know why they've already filmed that song. Toilet. 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 Do you want to open the door? Oh 
just mind that metal, don't knock it, that otherwise. Just be careful with the doors and what it's going to slam on it. Do it slowly. Should be right. They've put boards on the window, so we should be fairly safe. But it looks a bit. Yeah, this is definitely accommodation, isn't it? I get that funny feeling we're going to have to go the same way we came in. I've never walked so. I'm not going to lie, urban exploring is getting a pretty, not pretty dangerous now, isn't it? <laughs> ah, yeah, we're not going up that way. That's it. My head is absolutely stinging. Someone running in here. Was this place hungry? This one. Whatever that is. Which? That plane. Three digits. I'm sketching myself out here. What is that? It just goes on. Did you hear that? Fuck oh, everything. There is a little bit of um, up above there, so don't <coughs> shine your torch too far up the windows. Oh, this. The same way we came in, right? So times are ahead. And this is steps. Hey, steps. Obviously, steps. Tragedy. It's tragedy. Oh, look at this pill. Paint pill. Paint pool. Far from where we came in. Oh, mind that window, there's nothing on that one. Oh, it's an empty room. <gasps> no. Why'd you do this to me, Wilson? Oh. It's a long way to Tipperary. Ow. Let's try this, the fire exit. Should we give it a, we give it a jiggle? Do we want to risk it? Is there, is there enough uh, fire alarm, like an alarm on the fire door? Yeah, well, they still could have a generator wired up somewhere. I keep hearing voices, but I don't know where it's coming from. Have a look. We haven't actually been in this bit. There's a door. No. What's this? It's a nice wood. Oh, very nice wood. Not as nice as when we went to that care home that's not a care home. Yeah. Right there.
What's that? Mm, toilets. Very nice. This is intact. This is like classic. This is intact. Surprisingly. I don't think anyone's been able to come in this bit to be honest. No mirrors though. They're all over the floor. It smells like a urinal. It looks like a urinal. I'm getting out of the urinal. Uh, hang on. There's a corridor. Oh, look, a safe that hasn't been opened. Mm, spooky. It's a safe, isn't it? Interesting. Don't worry. Uh, Alright, we just went over in a circle. Because that's the door into the gentleman, so we could have just come out that way. Hang on, hang on a minute. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Should we try and get up this bit? That's doable. Probably not, no one else has done it. Huh? Ah. Yeah, have they chucked the toilets down? What? From the top part. <laughs> Ooh, don't make a noise. Uh, this way. That's me. Did you bring a Lucas over with you? At the time of filming this, me and Aaron were totally on edge as we thought security was onto us. As you can see, I'm heading towards a room which was filled with nuts and bolts. This must have been the upkeep area for keeping the pool nice and clean and warm during the winter. At this point of being alone in the pool block by myself whilst Aaron was outside keeping an eye out for security, I realised that he couldn't contact me because I was using his phone to record footage for him. I was completely alone and I had no idea if security was lurking around the corner.
Oh my god. I don't know if you won't be able to see much, but sweating like a pancake, guys. Um, you can probably hear me on here, Aaron, as I'm doing the filming for you. There's the door we tried to get in, but it's been it's been sealed. So um, I don't know where the changing rooms are, but I think Aaron's going to keep his commentary in. <laughs> Hello, Aaron. Emergency exit. It's pretty cool. Emergency exit. Um, I'm trying my best. I'm literally filming with a camera that's got low light and I'm filming on here as well. Okay. I look like this big ass pole to go through. Looks like that's collapsed. The way it has to get in, I'm not going to show the way in. Because it's sketchy as anything. Um, I should have brought my big ass light with me to be honest. Yes, as you can probably tell, I've probably already said it, I'm back at HMS Ganges. I'm, I'm sweating like a pancake. That's, that's not a thing, but it is now. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just filming because I'm literally here on my own. So, I just gotta remember the way out. <laughs> But this is cool, check this out. Oh, sorry, bashed the camera, might have to cut that bit out. Check this out, guys. That was the way in originally. Well, I do believe one of these is the changing rooms. Yep, no. Where are the changing rooms? What on earth? Is it these down here? Probably is. Health and safety. Really windy in here. This is one of the changing rooms. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. Probably can't see much on Aaron's phone, so you probably have to brighten up the footage. Right, here are the changing rooms. Yeah, no, this is more like it. Look at that. Looks like Here you go. Toilets. This is the men's by the This is the men's by the looks of it. Creepy as anything. Jesus, I need to get some pictures. Oh my god. I have got my other camera on me. Um, I think I'm gonna go back and get that real quick. Get some pictures in here and then make a move. I'd need to remember how I got in and how I got out because at the moment this place is insane. I know you can't see much in the dark because I'm using my um, my older camera. It only really does close-ups but hey at least I got in here nevertheless.